Ta ta! Hello, friends! What an okay day! Some days are great, some days are bad, and some days are okay. And that's okay, because we're gonna do something different today. Again, like we never do that. In this video, I'm gonna be drawing with oil pastels. I love pastels because they can really look like oil painting and there's a secret technique for that and if you are patient and if you can wait until the end of this video I'm gonna show you how to mix colors with oil pastels I mean it's not like a secret formula or something we're just gonna rub our finger on pastel colors and we're gonna make them blend with each other and that's pretty much it but yeah if you're curious how I'm gonna do it just watch the video all the way to the end I'm gonna draw a caterpillar on a branch, on a tree branch and there's gonna be leaves and maybe a little flowers and the sky and clouds and all that good stuff. So why don't you grab your brown pastel and start drawing a tree branch. I'm gonna make mine look like a fork because I don't know, tree branches kinda look like those, like forks. But you can draw your branch any way you like. And as soon as I'm done with drawing my branch, I'm gonna grab my green pastel and start drawing a couple of leaves. Just here and there to decorate my branch. Small leaves, some big leaves. Now let's talk about pastels because pastels are a really interesting medium. There are two kinds of pastels. The one we are using right now are oil pastels because they are made with oil. But there are also dry pastels that kind of look like chalk but they're not really chalk, they're made out of pigments. And pigments are actually the colors themselves. So everything that has a color has that color because of its pigments. So every material that we use, like markers or watercolor or pastels or anything, they're all made out of pigments. And in oil pastels, pigments are mixed with oil. But in dry pastels, pigments are pure. So, the dry pastels always have the brightest and purest colors. Yeah, you heard me right. Not markers, not watercolors, not crayons, not even oil paint. We can find the brightest and purest of colors in dry pastels. Maybe we should make a video on dry pastels too. Alright, I think it's time to draw our caterpillar right now. And just watch very closely how I'm drawing my caterpillar. I believe it's gonna make it easier for you too. But if you want, you can draw your caterpillar however you like. Oil painting is the most traditional and most well-known type of painting. I mean, during the Renaissance, everybody painted with oils. And if you're wondering what Renaissance is, you just gotta check out my new series. It's called The Art Dictionary for Kids. And the first episode was about renaissance. So if you want to know all about renaissance, just go ahead and check out that video. So coming back to oil painting, since it's the most traditional and famous type of painting, everybody would like to paint with oils. But it's kind of complicated and we need a lot of materials to do oil paintings. So what do we do? I use oil pastels and then I start blending those colors with my finger at the end and it really starts to look like oil painting. I mean, it's kind of strange, but it looks good. It'll look good at the end, I hope. I'm almost done drawing my scene, so I'm gonna start adding some details and some textures. I wanna add a lot of textures on my caterpillar. And also, I'm gonna do some shading with my colors. Like, I'm gonna assume the light is coming from the top because it's daytime and the sun is up there, so the light is coming from the up. So I'm gonna color the bottom part of my branch a little darker and the top part of my branch a little lighter. And I'm also gonna add some textures to my leaves and I'm also gonna try to create a shaded sky. Like the top part of the sky is gonna be like a darker blue and the bottom part is gonna be lighter blue and all those lighter and darker colors and the textures we do, we're gonna blend them to each other at the end. So that's pretty much it for today's lesson kids. I hope you learned something about pastels, especially the difference between oil pastels and dry pastels and what pigment is. And while I was talking about pigments, I realized I should make an art dictionary video on pigment. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you liked working with pastels. Just finish your drawing with me and towards the end, we're gonna start blending those colors.
Don't miss that part, because it's the most fun part of working with pastels.
Thank you.